going to talk a little bit about self-sufficiency and some of the things that people don't talk about these days. And I'm in the bathroom and I just had a shower and I have to dump the water into a bucket. And it got me really thinking about self-sufficiency. And what would you do if times were bad? Let's just say a big part of the population of people have, they have public sewer. They have public water. What would you do if you have public sewer and water and your infrastructure would shut down? These are things you have to think about. And while I live this way on a daily basis, I don't worry so much about this because I have a private well and I have a private water. But people don't like talking about it. They don't like talking about the nitty gritty of if things would get bad and self-sufficiency. And so I've learned to use every drop of water to my full advantage. I learned to take a shower in less than five gallons of water. And then when I'm done, I sterilize everything. So I sanitize and sterilize everything because I like to keep clean and I want to know that my home is clean. When you do things like this, it's really important that you keep clean. Would you know how to sterilize and sanitize things if the infrastructure would go down? Would you learn? Would you know? Do you have books that you could read if these things would happen? All right, now we got our bucket of water. What do we do with it? If you had no plumbing and no sewer, where would you go with it? This isn't some kind of prepper drill. This is my everyday life. But what would you do? I want this video to get you thinking a little. What would you do if the infrastructure of your home would break down? And it would be with everybody, the whole worldwide. That can happen. Venezuela, and look what happened there. That was a rich country. And you know what? It's not that way anymore now, is it? What would you do if you had trash? How would you get rid of it? Well, this is what I do. These are the skills your grandparents did. A lot of people who live in rural America still live this way. But what would you do if you had no trash collection? What would you do if tomorrow everything in your life would be different? Have you thought about it? This isn't a scare video. It's just a video to share with you the life of some people and the life how some of us live and a life that you could possibly live someday if the economy would go down. It doesn't take much to make a difference in our economy. And what would you do? What would you do to be more self-sufficient? What would you do if you had to live like me? I enjoy this lifestyle. I enjoy it immensely. It's part of my life. But what would you do if everybody had to live this way? It revolves around buckets. Buckets, buckets, and buckets. <laughs> buckets for the fresh water and buckets for the gray water. Do you know the rules about using gray water? Do you know that you never mix fresh water with gray water? Do you have buckets that are designed for that? It's a lifestyle. It's something that you don't learn overnight, but when things get bad, you learn it pretty quickly. So I'm going to share with you now a little bit in the end of this video what I was working on this week because summer is over and the snow is starting to fly and I really had to get my stuff finished because being self-sufficient means you always have to look ahead. So you're always looking ahead and making sure that you got everything covered in case things would ever happen. The first snow of the season, and that greenhouse is full of garden seeds that I still need to bring in the house and put in packages. Oh my goodness, it's like I don't have enough of time in my day, but 
that's what I'm gonna work on today it's get those seeds out of that greenhouse and get them packaged oh my word it's so beautiful though look at the snow so the first thing I'm gonna work on and this is for my healing salve that I make and it says marshmallow leaves it's all kinds of herbs that I had out in the garden I had a video on it but I have to get this stuff packaged and put away so you make sure you label all of your things really good it's hard to believe all of this stuff is actually going to be just a few envelopes if you wonder where I get envelopes like this I can share with you in the description box below because I love these be enough to make me enough of healing salve to last me for probably about a year and I have a lot of videos on how I make my healing salves and I will be making some new videos as well so there we go that's packet number one and that's my marshmallow root and leaf salve the herbs for the salve so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put that in this basket the next thing is all of these marigolds and this is marigolds and calendula together so I'm gonna to have to painstakingly take all of the leaves out of the flower heads now these are the marigolds that I grow every year and many of you have gotten my seeds through the years I will be selling seeds again probably in the spring so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and when this is done then we will package these up as my marigold garden seeds. This is the potpourri. Here are all the tiny black seeds that I put in a sieve and they went down into here. Now we will clean these seeds up better, but it still has lots of black seeds that are coming out of here. So we're going to finish doing this. I'll put this in a pretty bag so we have this to make for gifts. So we have the sunflower seeds here. We have this. We got to package these into my garden seeds and then I'll work on some tea. So I'll show you what everything looks like when we're finished. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this and run it like this. And then we're going to do it again. And there we have the pure seed. And now all we have to do is put these into our seed envelopes. Now all we have to do is, when I'm ready to make this craft, is add some scent to it. So we'll put that in here as well. Now we have to work on is some of our tea. So I want to clean everything out. And now we'll work on the tea. So I'm going to put all the tea in here like this. This is a really strong menthol tea, which I use to make essential oil. This is a really strong menthol tea, which I use to make essential oils as well. And we're just going to crinkle it up like this. And we'll get the tea leaves out of it. So we drink this. This is good for making homemade Vicks, which is really easy to make. And I'll have some videos coming up here in January I'm making all of these things. Since I have a large supply of tea, I don't have to worry so much if I waste some of it. All right, so this is the tea. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to chop this up real finely. Now last but not least is the calendula seeds and these are my prized possession. So I'm going to take a lot of time in getting these seeds off the flower heads because this is what I grow to make lotions I use this to make salves, 
I use this for all kinds of things and these seeds I need to plant next year because they're not that cheap to buy but they're so easy to harvest on your own so I'm gonna go ahead get all of the seeds out of these so I have them for next year because these are very important to me when you grow your own flowers and save your own seeds you really have more of a connection with just being more self-sufficient so now I don't have to go try and look for these seeds I have them on my own there you go everyone all packaged up and ready for the spring and my greenhouse is all ready for the spring but I'm gonna do a little bit of decorating in there for Christmas so I got everything cleaned up and now I can decorate this week for Christmas I love my greenhouse I think that's the number one thing that I like <laughs> that I got this year and it's under sixty dollars and I got this greenhouse and I think it is fabulous I can use it for so many things not just growing things but decorating and spending some time in there and working on herbs so I'm gonna take my basket and put it in the house and put everything away and get ready now for Christmas yippee